what you don't do today waits for you tomorrow and you have no guarantee that tomorrow will be a better day. Headquarters Revolution Gang. If you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution. So, today's video. Here I am back again to put you guys in my business when you never asked to be in my business. But here I am putting you in my business on the internet for no reason. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's not funny. Why am I laughing? Sorry. <clears throat> anyway, guys, so um, today's video is a little bit of a tough one, but I am basically in the gutter. I'm in the, I'm in the trenches. I'm in the pits. I'm in like, honestly, it feels like I'm in the first level of hell at this point, which I'm not, and I'll never be in Jesus' name, Amen. But um yeah no so i i don't even know probably doesn't seem like it right yeah <laughs> Whew. i want to start this video off by saying that i've mentioned to you guys before that this channel is a reflection of me you know and i want to take you guys along with me on my journey as you guys know i'm currently in america i'm a senior i graduate soon actually so this chapter of my life is actually almost over um but I wanted to bring you guys on my journey with me here in America and show you my experiences like through college and like the stuff that I've done and stuff like that. And I, some of you guys may be aware of my like my achievements and stuff like that. Um, but I wanted to get real about like some of my struggles as well and i feel like i'm always talking about my struggles i feel like how many videos have i made and i've been like i want to get real about my struggles like yeah we know you get real about your struggles sis we know <laughs> Sorry. i'm so awkward i'm uncomfortable i'm uncomfortable right now so like I'm, I'm i'm cracking jokes but um you know i've really been going through a tough time to the point where honestly i don't feel like i can continue making youtube content um and today I was in a situation where like I was honestly like crying today and I was like I, I don't have the energy to edit a video and also like I'm not in the right frame of mind to edit like a happy cheery video because my mind is not good so like I can't edit you get me like I can't I can't edit proper um, and then the other videos I have I didn't feel like posting so like I decided to just record this video and be candid so like there's a possibility that I may stop posting soon. Um, I'm not promising, I'm not saying I will. I'm just saying like, I've been going through such a hard time this whole year and I kind of feel like I'm at a breaking point to the point where I don't have energy for YouTube. Like I don't have energy to edit. I don't have energy to film. I, I just don't have the energy. And I pride myself in being consistent. Like there's no week that goes by where Benita doesn't post. And I pride myself in that because it's, it's it's something that I've committed to for you guys, for me, for us, you know, so you know that you can rely on me. And so I'm making this video so you guys know that if a week goes by and I don't post, I'm really sorry and I don't mean to disappoint. It's just that I'm mentally like, it's hard right now. So I, I don't know if I like can be as consistent. Turn on your post notifications i might be back next week i might post two three videos in a week who knows but um i want to talk a little bit about my struggle and what's helped me through because i know that as much as i'm struggling i know that so many other people are struggling as well and i've spoken to other people who have had similar um, situations as mine so i want to i want to talk about what i'm going through so that someone who's watching this feels like they're not alone feels encouraged to get help you know and also there's this thing where like sometimes people look at my life on social media and on youtube and everything and they just like romanticize my life and you think that she's studying in america life is great everything like she she's an a student and uh, you know she's you know a leader on campus and she has all these jobs and she's making like money and stuff like that 
and and sometimes people romanticize that and they think wow i wish i could be like her i wish my life why is my life not like her why you know what i mean and i and i don't want people to look at my life with this lens of like everything is so great because it's it's not and in the end you shouldn't wish for someone else's life urban poet j cole once said ain't no such thing or no such thing as a life that's better than yours you gotta love yours this week on monday this week monday i i woke up and my heart was heavy and i was so sad and and that was hard because you know, you know joy cometh in the morning guys you wake up and you feel so much better but like i woke up and i just felt horrible you know and i was crying and i was talking to a friend of mine and i was i was telling them that i don't want to go to class like i don't have the energy i'm tired like and not because i'm sleepy but like i'm just going through so much mentally i i can't i i, I can't I sat there and I cried but regardless of how I felt you know I picked myself up I dragged myself to class because I also hate missing classes first of all you get credit for going to class and participation second of all what you don't do today waits for you tomorrow and you have no guarantee that tomorrow will be a better day so like if I'm missing classes it's only gonna be on my head to have to catch up and you know what I mean so like I I don't enjoy that stuff because it, it just it gives me more work later and I don't want that you know so I dragged myself to class because I was like I have to do what I have to do regardless of how I feel I finished class I went back to my room I continued crying I was crying I even like took these like melatonin to help me sleep because I was like I don't want to be awake you know um, and later that day I got and this was this Monday Later that day, I got an email saying that I won an award for Edwin Stockton Award, which is basically awarded to the senior in my university with the highest GPA, I think it's grade point average, the highest GPA in the entire economics and business department. And economics and business departments means finance, accounting, business, like econ, all those, that's what economics and business consists of. And of all of those depart like different subcategories in the departments of all of those, I got the highest GPA, the highest grade in the entire department. And I mention this because it's so bittersweet that on a like you know when I shared the news of that award everybody was so happy oh congratulations we're so proud of you like look at you you just my mom wanted to cry my parents got on a video call and they were like praising they were singing gospel songs bro my parents got on a call and they were like <clears throat> calorie bona calorie bona my good is a calorie bona you do it for me <laughs> Oh, that's so funny to me no man they didn't sing that but like they were like praising God and like they were so happy people were just so happy and everything and people were like wow like you really inspire me and like I want to be like you and you know all that kind of stuff and people didn't know that that morning I cried because I didn't want to go to class I cried because I didn't have the strength you know um, I think last week I received an email saying that I'm getting an award for outstanding senior from Pennsyl Pennsylvania Institute of Public Accountants. Like, damn. They pick, a, I think, a student in each school to give them this award. And I'm the one they picked. And it's for outstanding senior in accounting. And I think it's so comedic. It's so funny is that I, by the grace of God, shall I say, I achieve, bro. Like you find that I'm every week it's congratulations Benita this award congratulations that award I, I received an offer um, for a placement I'm not gonna talk about it until like I know but like I received an offer for a placement and that was a pretty big deal and I received the other award and there's this award and like when you look at me when you hear from me you're like wow like she's achieving she's doing well but on the inside i'm 
going through such a tough time I'm crying myself to sleep I'm like I even, I've even st like, like struggled eating you know where I don't have an appetite or like a day will go by and like I don't even eat you know or I'll just have some peanuts or I'll drink water or like I'll take sleep aids to help me sleep because I don't want to be awake you know and it, it's so funny because from the outside looking in everything looks so perfect everything looks so good like wow I wish I could be like that but internally I am just going through the most you know and it's so funny because like I said it's, it's almost comedic to me that things look and are, are so great and I worked hard for these things that I'm getting God knows and I thank God all praise to the Most High God it's by his grace I worked hard for the things I'm receiving but people don't see the back end of that you know sometimes I have this like it almost feels like a dissociation thing where it's like there's this Benita that everybody talks about you know the one that is achieving the one that's getting these grades the one that is getting these awards the one that is a leader like sometimes people will talk about me and I hear about it and they'll be like oh this Benita she's so great and she's so smart and she's a brilliant young woman and like and it's like sometimes it feels like there's that person and then there's me this person that everyone is celebrating it sometimes doesn't feel like me you know or like I'm so unhappy and so sad and whatever that it's like I can't be that person that you guys are talking about so my second name is Danielle my first name is Benita so sometimes it feels like oh Benita's over there and then Danielle's over here so like when these things when these all these things are coming in I'm like oh I'm so happy for Benita like it's almost as if like there's, that's that person that I'm happy for then the real me who's going through like all these things is like over here you know and it's made me be less social because like I just I don't have the energy to be that person that Benita who's a like, charismatic and smart and achieving like people like want to speak to her and I feel so hurt inside I feel so broken inside it's like I don't know how to be her and I, don't, I can't be that so I'm, I just I just close off you know I'm it's like balancing this I'm so grateful Wow thank you God but like you know sometimes physical achievement through awards or whatever sometimes it almost doesn't mean anything when internally you're not in a good space because it's like look I have this award and this award and this and this and this but look at me has been so hard for me like literally every single week something this whole year every single week something has been happening to strain me to hurt me to harm me to to bring me down whenever I start to feel like okay the Sun is starting to shine again something happens literally I go to therapy on Fridays I see my therapist every Friday and I'll update him on what happened in the week and every single week I kid you not every single week after therapy within a few hours something happens again that I'm like ah oh, damn I'm gonna tell my therapist next week and I mean it's taken such a toll on me to the point where I'm even hesitant to be happy if that makes sense I hope you guys understand me I know someone out there will understand me because I'm like why even let myself be happy like I'm like I know something is coming I know something bad is coming I know so why even let myself be happy so that my joy can be short-lived you know and I'm at a point where I just feel tired like I feel like I don't have the strength anymore to just keep fighting and what's so hard is so much is expected from me you know to whom much is given much is required and I say this again where you know these awards that I'm receiving I work hard for them you know like I said I was crying not wanting to go to class but I went I went I did my work you know and right now I'm balancing doing I'm getting my masters my MBA while completing my undergrad and then I have two internships one I do taxes the other one I do bookkeeping and I have another part-time job where I do social media I do YouTube um, I'm president of an honor society and we're planning an award ceremony but I have all these things on my shoulders and I'm a person I I want to achieve I have a motto or a belief or whatever that give me your best or give me nothing and I and I I expect that of others but I expect that of myself like give me your best or give me nothing at all if you're gonna do something bro do it to do it 
you know so that even if things don't work out even if you don't get a good grade or whatever you know that i i did what i could i did my best i have that belief and so like everything that i do i i, I try give it my best bro like school work everything i try give it my all my best and while all of this is happening i also want to mention the part about being a youtuber being a youtuber bro is opening yourself up to immense criticism like I, I, I try to, I, I'm sure some of you guys have noticed, but I try to reply to all of the YouTube comments as much as possible, but understand that maybe some of, like most of you guys are so nice, I love you guys, but there's a lot of hate comments that I filter through, that I, that I deal with, and anyone who's like, oh, if what people say, yeah, no, <laughs> to a certain degree, yes, there are some comments where I read and I'm like, bro, you are miserable, like, I pray for you, babe, but you know, sometimes, you know, ah, uh, you know, sometimes there's that one comment where it's like, hey, that one, like, it stays in your mind for, I'm saying, it stays in your mind for a little bit before you can let it go, um, but like, you can imagine that going through a hard time mentally and then negative self-talk and then going on youtube and like there's like a bunch of hate comments or or even if it's not hate comments but people people being mean people being rude people being like <sighs> it's a lot and and what makes things harder for me is I've, just, I've been feeling so lonely you know there are times where i feel like i really need my family but my family is an essay you know i have a very loving family my my whole family is so loving uh, my parents are so loving and there are times where honestly I just want to go and sit on my parents bed bro and just watch Nollywood films or like go out to eat with my dad or I'll be in my room and my brothers will just come sit in my room and just be like nonsense there and also family depending on your family but family has this care for you that other yeah, people don't depending on your family I get but my family like like they ride for you you know so like when you're upset they like they really want to help you work with you and stuff so like I miss that but like my family's an essay and I'm here, you know, and what makes things hard as well is that I don't like to call my parents and cry for them to see me cry because they're so far away from me. I don't want them to feel helpless. I don't want them to feel bad. I don't want them to be like, oh, my child is suffering because what are they going to do about it? There's nothing to do about it. You know, I do want to shout out to all of my friends, all of my friends who have supported me for months, bro. I don't know how many times I have called my friends crying. And they sat with me and they spoke with me and they helped me and you know and, and, and today I was actually crying again because I was like I feel so bad because I feel like I have nothing to give every time I speak to my friends I'm always crying I'm always sad I'm always this I'm always that and I feel horrible because I'm a strong woman of I'm, I'm, I'm a strong woman and you know shall I say I'm a strong woman of pride or dignity or whatever so like I also, for Istima, Sami, I don't want to call people crying all the time. I don't want to be the person who's weak all the time, you know. And also, I'm a giver and a lover. I hate that I have nothing to give my friends, that like, I'm, I feel so weak within myself that like, I don't have the strength to be the best. I know me when I'm at my best. I know what kind of friend I am. I know how caring I am. I know, like, bro, I can carry people. But I don't have that strength and I feel so bad because like I'm just always taking from them and it makes me want to pull back and be like you know let me just keep quiet you know because I don't want to keep taking from them but shout out to each and every single one of my friends bro Tish, Lerato, um, Angie, Nahum, Adeshola like my friends who yeah they've really they've really carried me literally like when I'm sad don't I know it's gonna be weird don't judge me but like when I'm sad I sleep on the floor I don't know why it just helps me like when I'm really really sad when I'm dusted I just sleep on the floor because I don't know there's something there's something about that that feels like surrender to me where it's like I, I'm done I don't know I don't even or maybe I'm just being dramatic but I don't know guys Oxalayo, it works it helps me but when I'm super sad I just sleep on the floor I remember in 2020 during the pandemic when I couldn't go home and I was stuck here I was so sad and so overwhelmed. I went out. I, I felt I, I felt suffocated inside. I went outside and I laid on the floor. And Angie came to find me and she just laid there with me, you know. And so there was a time, um, 
twice actually in the last two weeks the the most recent one happened on Friday um, and I think a week before the week before where like I slept on the floor and Angie literally like she will call me and like she'll see me upset and she'll be like do you want me to come over and I'll say no because like I said like I just feel bad for always like oh I'm crying I'm crying I'm crying so I'm like no like, I'm fine even if I'm not fine and she does this thing where she will literally jailbreak her way into my building I live in a building where you need to swipe to come in and somehow she finds her way into my freaking building she knocks on my door like I owe her rent money I let her in and she just holds me and she hugs me and for the last like I said on Friday and I think a week before the week before she slept on the floor with me you know like I would sleep on the floor and she would just lay there and just sleep right next to me all night like she'll really just ride it out you know um, and I really appreciate that anyway um, I do want to end off this video with a little bit of a message um, of some of the things that have helped me to cope and some of the things that I've learned for one bro like prayer even if all you can say is your oh God I'm tired in Jesus name amen bro say that prayer you know that's what I've learned praising helps a lot praising just playing worship music praising letting it play but it really does help it lifts your spirits friends bro like for anyone who's trying to t stay away from their friends because they're sad try fight the power if you can be with friends talk to people it really does help like it gives you perspective it or oh, it helps you get it out or it sobers you up like talk talk to friends don't be too ashamed to go to your friends and something that i would say has helped me as well is sometimes i give myself days to rest like there are times where honestly i'll just stay indoors and i will just sleep and i'll watch a movie and i'll fall back asleep and that's what i'm gonna do so allowing yourself those rest days and i mean like proper proper rest I would also say don't give up on yourself that's something that I've worked hard not to do so like as much as I've been going through the pits and and, and whatever I've never handed in assignments late I I get my work done on time I go to my internship I'm professional I, I try my best you know don't give up on yourself don't let your life fall apart like that which you can control try to control it I know there's two types of depression there's functional depression and non-functional I don't know if there's other types, but non-functional is the type where, like, honestly, you fall apart. Like, you can't do anything. All you want to do is sleep and everything. Then there's functional depression where you're literally depressed, but, like, people can't even tell because you're on, you're still doing your stuff, you know? But, um, you know, I do want to say that to the best of your ability, try to stay on top of your work or whatever. Because, like, in, like I said, what you don't do today is for you tomorrow and you have no guarantee tomorrow will be better. So if you can, stay on top of your work for your own sake. Like, try stay on top of it, you know. What I will say I've noticed about myself when I get really, like, sad. I don't know if I want to call this thing depression or what, but... Um, <clears throat> my laundry yeah like i love cleaning my apartment doing my laundry like i'm on top of it weekly but like when i'm in a really hard place like i find it hard to do my laundry i find it hard to like clean my apartment and stuff like that yeah so try to stay on top of your stuff but give yourself grace where and when you can um and i also want to say that it's okay to cry i was one of those people who like i was i always felt like real niggas don't cry bro like what no ways I am here to report today that real niggas cry and as real niggas we've been crying you know you get me real niggas cry guys um it's okay to cry it's not a weakness to cry crying really does help i don't know man it just gets things out of your system this friday i cried for two hours and a friend of mine shout out to try name drop but shout out to tim tim sat with me for two hours and i cried like ugly cried bro like i just like it was bad crying does help and again having that friend that you can just cry with and they can just be there for you you know it was so funny because they took shifts like tim sat with me i cried for two hours then angie came she slept on the floor with me shout out to friends guys allow yourself to cry allow yourself to feel it's the only way for you to get things out i read a, a cancer journals by audrey lord and she spoke about how for you to be fine you need to allow pain to flow through you and out so pain comes in us right whether it's emotional pain or sickness or whatever but i'm talking about emotional pain then what most of us try to do we com we compartmentalize we hold it in we try to ignore it and we store it in but you need to understand that for you to really be okay you need to allow the pain to flow through you and out of you and that's gonna hurt 
but that's how it gets out like holding things in is not going to work one day you'll burst one day you'll feel it allow pain to flow in you through you and out of you and i also want to talk about the shame associated with being christian and, and being depressed or being christian and being sad or being christian and whatever because people will make you feel like because you're christian oh you have little faith why did you doubt you know if you have the faith of a mustard seed but guys i want to be real about being christian and being sad or being christian and being depressed if you look at the bible if we look at prophet elijah one of the greatest prophets to ever be he sat under a tree and asked god to take his life he said god no ways <laughs> no ways <laughs> he said ain't no way boy you know he asked to die i often think about king solomon and how depressed he actually was you know there's a verse that says he who increases in knowledge increases in sorrow and he was the wisest man to ever exist meaning his knowledge was like mad and he who increases in knowledge increases in sorrow hence the term ignorance is bliss because he who knows less is blissful because the moment you become aware of the truth you bear the weight that comes with it you get me hence also why getting older and the more you know it's like life gets more depressing because like damn you ever grow up and realize that adults suck <laughs> you know the people who you always thought were amazing are actually like pretty bad people you know um but yeah like i often think about how depressed king solomon must have been and i often i don't have any evidence to back this up this is just i as my own think piece here so don't listen don't take my word here don't like say i'm not preaching i'm just saying what i think but um i often think about how depressed he must have been because all that wisdom he had meaning when he spoke about vanity of vanities you know he realizing that bro life is literally meaningless like why are we here you know and i think about him having all those wives and concubines and i was thinking is that like a was that a depression thing as well was it depression induced that kind of behavior because someone who's so aware of god and everything for you to end up living like that it's like what's really going on with you you know so but yeah um well sometimes we say that oh if god can come and sit down next to me and tell me what to do these people had god bro telling them what to do proper life and they were still there like ah oh, god i please ah, mm, nah, me i'm tired i'm saying let's be real about it so there's that shame associated with being christian and being sad where it's like it's a lack of faith and it's not a lack of faith because the bible says that in this life many are the trials and tribulations of the children of god bro like do you know what that means do you know what that means God is not even promising you a smooth life, hey? Like, he's promising, like, he said, in the end, all things work together for your good, but you're gonna be rocked, my boy. You're gonna be rocked, you get me? And also, the weapons. We weapons shall form, but they'll never prosper. That means they're, they, they, they're gonna form, and weapons are painful. Weapons is like, you're getting hit, 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 but maybe you won't die. But you're getting hit and being hit hurts the fact that you don't die doesn't take away from the fact that you're being will smith okay people always say god gives his toughest um battles to his strongest soldiers oh maybe somebody else i am not the one <laughs> and at this point i'm saying god i beg me i'm not to fight i'm not to fight god like you know you know you know the strength of all your children how god also our ah, camp also you you know lord you know some people they are soldiers some people they are big 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 they are tech for vec how guys god you know they ah, god they can fight me how i can i can make the thumbnails social media posts you know marketing how spokesperson I, you know like how I, I can give everybody water, you know, stay hydrated, or like, you give hugs. I give good hugs. Bro, I can be the hug man. I can be the hug man. Oh, but the strongest soldier, I beg me, I don't know how to fight. I'm not a catch hands. Like, I, small, small paper cut, I cannot take. Bro, if there's a, 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 um, a bird in my house, I'm moving out. The house belongs to the bird now. I run. When I tell you small, small, even lizard, I scream. I scream like, ah! like as if I'm gonna die. So like, I, what I'm saying is, whoa, this tough soldier. I'm like, please God, <laughs> woo, <laughs> woo. <laughs> anyway, um, 
but I do want to say that there's no shame in being Christian and being sad and that the whole point of that is also give your fears to God, cast your fears unto God for he cares for you and he's close to the broken hearted, you know, it's an opportunity for you to draw near to God and see his power because again, his strength is His strength is made perfect in our weakness, you know, do you know what that means also, his strength is made perfect in our weakness, like hello guys, please let me read your Bible, you're not being promised, you're not being promised, <laughs> Anywho, but yeah guys, those are some of the tips that I would say I have for anyone who's also going through a hard time. And just in closing, I want to say, and I'm saying this not just for you who's watching this who needs it, I'm saying this to myself as well, I'm saying this too shall pass. I'm saying it as well with you, I'm saying it as well with me. I'm saying be still and know that God is God. Remember who you are, remember who God made you. I love um, Judges, I think it's Judges chapter 6 maybe where the angel of the Lord visits Gideon. So Gideon was like the last born of the lowest family, of the lowest tribe. Like it doesn't get worse than Gideon bro. It, it really doesn't in terms of just like sucking. <laughs> like the lowest tribe, the lowest family, then you're the last born. Like he, like you cannot be a bigger loser than that but when the angel of the lord came to gideon the angel of the lord called him i think it was mighty warrior valiant warrior or something along those lines and i thought that was so profound because when other people look at you and even when you look at yourself my guy you see the lowest you see the lowest son or lowest child of the lowest family of the lowest tribe like you're nothing you're no one when god looks at you he says valiant warrior mighty warrior that's what god sees when he sees you so that's when when they say that you are who god says you are that's what it means bro is that sometimes you have it wrong about yourself sometimes the way you view yourself is wrong sometimes the way other people view you is wrong remember who god says you are you're not your situation you're not those negative thoughts you're not your mistake you're not your mother's mistake. You're not your father's mistake. You're not a sin. You're not a mistake. Like you're alive for a reason. You're here for a reason. I'm here for a reason. And I know that because even when I'm going through tough times, even when I feel like, why am I alive? I'm tired of being alive. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired. Like even when I feel that way, I see how I've impacted my space, my environment. I see how I'm here for a reason bigger than me. I'm here for a reason. I'm here for a reason. And you're here for a reason. Be okay, guys. So that's what I wanted to say. And that's for anyone who needed to hear this. I'm sorry this video is long. It's just super honest. Um, and yeah, guys. So send good vibes my way. Also send money, hey? Like um, besides sending good vibes, send money. Gosh, <laughs> good vibes. Send money. I can buy a burger. Burgers make me feel good. Damn, you know? <laughs> I'm joking. This is a good time to mention that I don't have a Facebook account and I don't invest for people and I don't ask, like I, like I do not ask people for money. So if anyone is telling you that it's me and I want you to, I don't invest, don't have a Facebook, it's not me. But someone's using my pics and doing that. So just FYI. Um, also, I feel like you've made it the most. People start using your pics to scam. I feel like damn like you, you want to scam using my pics do you want me to like you know what i'm saying like you want to scam with you think stop <laughs> it's bad to scam don't steal that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i'll be back with more videos any videos you want to see comment down below peace and love guys god bless you all god bless us all i'm tired bye <laughs>